Hello. In this video, we're going to give you an overview of how to assign the proper security roles and how to assure that Contact Sync is enabled for each one of the employees in your business. And this is for users who are utilizing Aptivo's Google Contact Sharing tool. So, what we're going to start off by doing is um, we're going to cover the scenarios that might occur. Maybe when you've just set up contact sharing for your domain or maybe when you've just added a new user. So sometimes the results might not be expected. So maybe some contacts don't come over or you don't see anything coming over at all. So what I've got up in front of me right here is we're looking at what an employee account. We got ftton at globaltech.com and we can see that he has some contacts in his business. But um, if we look at the Aptivo contacts folder, there is nothing in here at all. Although we have the Aptivo employees, which has several contacts, which are all the other employees in the business. So in this example, this indicates that um, FTTON up here, he does not have the proper security rules inside of Aptivo. And there might be one other scenario that which you see where maybe they don't see these contact groups at all. So they just they don't have Aptivo contacts, they don't have Aptivo employees, there's no new contacts. And in that scenario, it typically indicates that their, um, their sync is not enabled. And both of these, luckily, they could be controlled from the same location. It's a pretty quick change. And all we're going to have to do is we're going to change over to um, an admin account. So it has to be an admin in the Google Apps domain who has um, administrator access inside of Aptivo. So what I'll do is I'm going to switch right here. And you can see I'm logged in as admin at Glocial Tech. So this is the administrator. And if we look in uh, the admin's contacts, we see many different groups here. We see tons of contacts that are all missing from the other account. So we want to make sure to get these contacts over to FTTON. And what we're going to do is directly from Google, we can go ahead and just click on the More button up here in Google's Universal Navigation. And we'll come down and we're going to find Aptivo. So once we click on Aptivo, it's actually going to log us in automatically. We don't have to enter a password or anything. And then we're going to be able to actually go ahead and we're going to go to the Employees app. Up at the top of the page, you might have some different links right here, but everybody should be able to click More Human Resources and then to your Employees app. And you can also get here real quickly, if you don't have that link, just click Manage Employees under Quick Links. Now, once you're inside of this interface, you're going to see there's just a list of all of your employees and with checkboxes next to each of them. And we're just going to have the option to um, add their security role, which is these over here. And we can see the sync enabled right here. So Right here, um, if they did not see the Aptivo contacts or the Aptivo employees group, make sure that you have this box checked. The system won't sync if it, the box is not checked. And then in addition to that, we need to have the proper role. So if we come down here, we find Frank, we can see the sync is enabled, which explains why we saw the groups, but he does not have a role. So he can't see any contacts. Now, what we want to do is we just want to give him the appropriate level of access. So if this is an administrator in the business, they should access all contacts. We can give them the super user role, but be aware when you give them the super user, it means they can do everything inside of Aptivo, which might not necessarily be correct. And if you just want them to be able to get in there and modify everything, see all the contacts, you can go ahead and just give them the add edit contacts. They don't need the super user role. And lastly, if you only want them to be able to view the contacts, but if you don't want them to be able to make changes, then you can um, just enable the view and it gives them read only access. And once you've enabled all these settings, all you'll have to do is you'll wait um, roughly 30 minutes or so for the sync to go by. And once the sync happens, you, we should now see that F, uh, Frank Teton's contacts have filled up with everything necessary. And that's it. That covers setting security roles and enabling contact sync for Aptivo. Thanks.